Hey everybody, welcome to the Stuff You Can Do 2 channel. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go through installing the Model 31 tiller on your John Deere 200 series or 110, 112 tractors. I did previously do a video on the installation of the 31 tiller, but I did leave out a few details concerning the mule drive. So whenever I do this today, I want to make sure I go through and cover each thing step by step. So to start off, I want to make sure that we're familiar with what we need to do for the installation. Um, you need to have the mule drive that would be used with the mower deck. You need to have a tiller specific mule drive, as well as the tiller itself, and a rear lift kit. And those requirements are the same whether you have a hydraulic lift tractor, a manual lift tractor, an electrical lift tractor. Um, if you do have a manual lift tractor, I would recommend trying to find the spring assist kit. I did used to have that on this tractor, as you will be able to see in the previous videos. Since then, this tractor has been converted over to hydraulic lifts, so now I no longer need that. Um, from what I hear, I don't recommend using the electric lift tractors with this tiller. It's a pretty heavy attachment, and from what I understand, it can wear out or damage the electric lift rather quickly. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is remove the mower deck. All right guys, this is one of the things I left out of the first video. This is the tiller mule drive that you need to install the tiller. Uh, this works in conjunction with the mower mule drive to route the belt properly back to the tiller. And I'll show you how to go ahead and put that on. That mounts right up here on the frame. You can see one hole over here and the other hole here. Pull is gonna go on the right side of the tractor. You feed the pin up into the right side hole. And then the left side's gonna mount with a pin, uh, bolt and a pin on this side right here try to get that show you there. I'll put that in there and show you. And there's a shot of the left side here. I haven't put the pin in yet, but that's what it'll look like when it's all assembled underneath. And then next we'll go on to the belt routing. Okay, so there's two belts you need. There's a shorter belt that goes from the PTO clutch to the mule drive. And then there's a longer belt that goes from the old dri mule drive, the smaller pul pulley right here on the mule drive back to the tiller. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to install those belts. All right, so I have the front belt installed. What I am going to recommend you do is to not tighten the belt tensioner until you have the rear belt installed. I'll make that a little bit easier to put on then you can adjust the tension when it's all done. Okay, so before we can install the rear belt, we have to actually put the tiller on the tractor. And um, I just wanted to show you guys where it mounts. Um, you have these mounting ferrules that are on each, either side of the bottom of the tractor. These hooks right here on each side of the tiller set in those. And then these guys right here go into the holes right here on the frame of the tractor. I do recommend you maybe try to do this with a buddy. This thing's pretty heavy and it's hard to manhandle. You can do it by yourself, but it would just be a lot easier with two people. So let's go ahead and get that mounted up and then we can install the belt.
All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and attach the rear belt. So we're gonna go ahead and feed that up through on the tractor. I've seen people take this rear wheel off before to do this. I haven't found it necessary to do. Um, just feed it up through the bottom and go ahead and attach it to the small pulley that's on the tiller mule drive. Okay, now. Now, before you mount the belt onto the rear pulley, you have to keep in mind that when it's when it comes straight back it looks like that you have to rotate the belt clockwise this way if you don't do that the tiller is going to spin the wrong direction the tines should move the same direction as your wheels move when you're moving forward so just make sure you put that twist in there in that direction if you go the other direction uh, from what i understand the belt will rub Feed that in. You know, the other pull here, you might have to pull that up to get yourself enough slack. Like so. Okay, next we need to get some tension on the side of the pulley. What you do is push that down as hard as you can, and get it all as tight as you can, and then tighten it up with the wrench on the back side. All right, we're just about done. All I need to do now is tension the belt and put the side cover back on. I'm gonna tension this belt just like I would the mower belt. I tighten the tensioner up all the way and then I back it off about one to two turns.